Today we're going to be running the game Silent Hill 2 on the Apple Silicon Mac. So if you've got an M1, M2, M3 or even a future M4 chip, then this is going to be the tutorial for you. So there is no Mac port of this game. We have to run the Windows version through a translation layer. So I'm going to show you how to go ahead and do that. We're going to be using something called CX Patcher in order to get the latest version of D3D Metal installed. This will allow us to run as well as possible on DirectX 11 or DirectX 12 mode, depend which one that you end up choosing. And I'm also going to show you how to play this with a controller as well and get the best possible experience out of this game on Apple Silicon hardware. So the first step is going to be to download Crossover. So what I recommend doing is clicking at the link at the top of this video's description. Every single purchase that's made after clicking this link is going to help to support this channel and the content that I create. Once you're taken to the purchase page, you'll be able to enter this promo code Apple Gaming Wiki New. And once you press the arrow button here, it's going to go ahead and apply a 20% off discount, which is pretty huge, off Crossover Plus, which is the version that we recommend for 12 months of support. However, if you want to make sure that this works for you, make sure to check out the 14 day free trial which is what I'm going to be trialing today just click this try now button and then scroll down and all we need to do is enter our email address and name and then click the download trial now button so once crossover is downloaded we're going to copy it over to our applications folder and then we're going to double click to open it for the first time press open it might ask you to install Rosetta 2 just let that install and then we're going to do the free trial or if you have unlocked this already you can enter your details here from the code weavers account so I'm going to try now to start the 14 day free trial and basically we're ready to go ahead and use crossover but the first thing I'm going to do is to quit out and we're going to make the modifications to crossover. This is an optional step that will allow us to use the latest versions of D3D Metal. At the time of recording that's version 2.0 beta 3. So here we're going to be downloading the latest version of CX Patcher which I'll be leaving a link in the description and we're going to be using 0.5.6 and this contains the latest update to Game Porting Toolkit 2.0 which is D3D Metal 2.0 beta 3. So here what we're going to do is go to assets and then download the cxpatcher.app.zip and then put this in our downloads folder. And once that's there, we're going to go to Finder and then go to Downloads. And then we'll go to CX Patcher, double click to extract this. And then we're going to move this into our applications folder. We are going to make sure that we open up Crossover first before we start this process and then close it. And then we're going to double click on CX Patcher. If it says it can't be opened, then go to the Settings menu here, go to System Settings, and then go to Security and Privacy. And then scroll down until we find here, it says CX Patcher can't be opened. It was blocked to protect your Mac. Click Open anyway. And here we close this and press open anyway then we're going to type in our password and then log in that's okay and this will basically allow us to open up applications which aren't from the app store type in your password press okay so just be aware that of course this is not a supported method of patching crossover this really comes at your own risk do not ask code weavers for support or refund if you're using this method they will not be able to help you if you need help from code weavers then you should be waiting for official support which is probably going to come in the very near future if you want to be able to use this you need to type in this full phrase and then press agree and proceed now cx patch is ready to use so we're going to configure some settings first go to advanced options and then we're going to be enabling dxvk integrate gptk we're going to use a separate bottle path we're going to be advertising avx we're going to be allowing dxvk async and then we can tweak some of these settings too so now we're going to drag and drop crossover into CX Patcher. Now CX Patcher is ready to go. So I double click on crossover. Say so we're going to install Steam. Install. Click yes here. Accept. And now we're just going to go through the standard Windows setup of Steam. And now that's going ahead and downloading Steam. So make sure to allow any kind of permissions that the bottle requests. And then I also advise turning on D3D Metal and also the M-Sync option and then reboot the bottle. This will allow us to run DirectX 11 and 12 games through crossover. Then we're going to make sure to launch Steam. So here we're going to log in with our Steam account. So if you don't have one already, you can create one for free. So now that we have the Windows version of Steam loaded up, we can go into a library and basically download any game that we have. So next we're going to do a search for Silent Hill 2. So you can go ahead and buy the Windows version of this game. And uh, we can go ahead and add it to cart and then make a purchase. And then within our library, we'll do a download of Silent Hill 2 and then install it within the bottle and then get ready to play. So basically a lot of the issues are going to be fixed if we right click on the game, go to properties and then launch in DirectX 11 mode. Now this does disable some of the graphic settings. Apparently some shadows don't run it correctly, but this is going to be the best way to run this on a Mac. So here we're going to press play and we're going to launch the game. And we're going to also pair a controller as well if you haven't paired a controller already. Also, it's a really good idea to play this game with a controller. So I've got my Xbox Series controller. You can also do this with the PlayStation DualSense controller. I'm going to put my controller into pairing mode by holding down the pairing button here. 
and then the Xbox light is going to start flashing. You can also do this on DualSense controller as well. Then we're going to go to system settings and then we're going to go to Bluetooth and then scroll down until under near by devices we see that the Xbox wireless controller has popped up here. We're going to press connect and then that'll just take a moment for that to connect and once it's connected the light on the controller is going to go a solid light like that and then that's now paired up. So now I'm controlling the game with my controller. Select our language and then continue here. So I've got the setting, so I've got the set to 1080p, press continue, and then we're just going to configure some graphics. So in terms of graphic settings, I'm just going to leave these basically on by default with the basic turned off. And uh, we have all of these graphic modes turned. So this is the game on the high renderer settings. It's running not too fast, so I'm just going to make some tweaks. So here I've just tweaked the settings down again. So I put the render quality preset down to low. And uh, we're getting a decent-ish frame rate on the M3 Max. So something close to about 45-50 FPS. If you wanted to, you could turn on the FSR 1.0 settings down to something like quality. That will just turn on upscaling so that you can get better performance without changing the UI interface resolution. Otherwise, this seems to be running at a decent-ish frame rate. There are also other settings that you could potentially tweak too. So for example, instead of launching in DirectX 11 mode, we could launch in DirectX 12. This could be substantially different in the future. It depends on when you are watching and what the setups are like going forward. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful for installing Silent Hill 2 on the Apple Silicon Mac. I have a lot of other similar tutorial install videos on the Apple Silicon Mac on this YouTube channel, so please check them out. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.